So the best wireless mic system in the world just got a little bit better. I'm gonna show you some hidden tricks that I found, plus there's some new updates. And yes, I'm using the microphone right now and throughout this video. So here we go. Mr. Black. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black. And if you are new here, don't be a stranger. Click that button right there. I'll put links to everything down in the description, plus a surprise link. Now I did a full review of these microphones already on this channel, and I will say that these things have it all. And honestly, the best wireless microphone system that I've ever owned. And I do have a lot of wireless microphone systems here, and I'm gonna do a big comparison between them all, so make sure you ding the bell to get notified when I do that. But first things first, uh, no, this does not work on the GoPro Direct, like through the USB-C, but it will work if you have it going through the media mod via TRS cable, or the 3.5 millimeter adapter from GoPro. As I'm recording this video, it does not work on the Insta360 ONE RS, and it doesn't work on the Insta360 ONE X2. Unless you use this attachment that goes through the TRS cable, it does work when it's plugged into the Action 2, but design-wise, it's just not really designed for it. Maybe if you hold it this way, it's kind of good, but uh, yeah, you can't really set it down. But anyway, let's get to the cool hidden features that I found out about this microphone system as I was diving into it. When you have it connected to your phone through the lightning adapter, you can actually use your microphone and you press the linking button and you can start and stop your recording. And this also works with photos. If you double tap the power button, you actually mute the microphone, which comes in real handy, especially if you're using two microphones at the same time. Now, a quick way to link your receiver to your microphone transmitters is just by putting them all in the same charging box. And that works. Now they're all linked together. Alternatively, the other way to link it is just by swiping down and going to your settings and then going to link device. Now this is another cool one. You can connect your receiver via USB-C data cable to your computer, and now you can use your wireless microphone system as an audio source. That way you can use this on a Zoom video conference call, or if you're doing a live stream, you can use both of your microphones as the source. And that's really cool. So you know that it comes with this little magnet that you can use to connect it through your clothes? Well, you can also put this magnet at the bottom of it and now it can work as a stand on your desk. Putting the windscreen on is really easy. You can see the grooves in this. All you do is line it up with the grooves in the microphone and then you twist. And now it's on there really tight. And then you just twist and pull it off. Okay, so this one might be a little bit silly, but this one took me a little bit to figure out at the beginning is how to use the cold shoe mount on your receiver. At the beginning, I was trying to uh, like pop it on this way. I was like, how does this work? And what you gotta do is you just open it up and then you follow the arrow. And there we go, it's on. And another cool tip that goes with that is that you can actually keep this thing on when you put it in the charging box. That way you don't have to worry about putting the cold shoe mount on and taking it off all the time. You just keep it on there and you just put it in your charging box. Number eight. Uh. Now it does have a touch screen and to get to your main menu, you just swipe down, which I'm sure you already knew, but there's actually more that you can do when you swipe up. You can start and stop recording, you can mute the mic, and you can format the internal storage. And because you have two wireless mics, you can actually pick which mic by which side you swipe up on. So each microphone has a record button and also has internal storage for recording. But the files get separated every 30 minutes, so it creates a new file for every 30 minute segment, which is kind of nice because if something happens on one file, you don't lose it all. And the maximum recording time is 14 hours. And if you hit that limit, instead of telling you it's full, it'll actually overwrite the older recordings with the new ones. And with their latest firmware update, they've added a new thing called Stop Lock. So if you hit record on this button, maybe you put it on somebody that you're interviewing, this button can be easily pressed and stop recording on accident. That's something you don't want to happen. So if you go into the menu, you can now see transmitter settings and you find this record stop lock and turn it on. So now when you hit the record button on the microphone, it's on, it's recording. You can't actually stop it with that button. The only way to do that is on your receiver, you swipe up and you can actually stop the recording right there. And next to the stop lock, you have auto record. And what that does is when you turn on the microphone, it actually starts recording as well, which is perfect for someone that's on the go and needs to capture that quick sound bite and doesn't have time to fumble around getting their camera ready. They can just turn this thing on and it's automatically recording so you don't miss anything. Now, one thing that you might find a little bit annoying and distracting is the LED light that's on your microphone. 
and then maybe it's just a little bit too bright. So now in the transmitter settings, you have a thing called LED brightness. So now with that LED light dimmed so much, it's a lot less distracting. You can't even see it. So those are some amazing features that I actually had no idea about when I was recording that first video. I just kind of stumbled upon them and I was like, there's probably a lot of other people out there that didn't realize that it did that too. So the perfect microphone system just got even that much better. All right, a lot more videos to make on this channel. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Mr. Black. Can we call you Uncle Blackie? No.